As a leader in the fight against cancer, Amgen has developed the Bite immuno-oncology platform with the goal of revolutionizing cancer treatment. The immune system has the ability to fight or attack cancer cells through cytotoxic T cells present in our body. Cytotoxic T cells are highly specific and powerful effector cells that are dependent on various forms of antigen recognition, including MHC1, or Major Histocompatibility Complex Class 1, to mediate the destruction of cancer cells. However, cancer cells may develop various mechanisms to evade T cell recognition, allowing the cancer cells to grow and survive. This has led to the development of strategies to overcome cancer cell escape mechanisms. BITE, or Bispecific T-Cell Engager Technology, is a targeted immuno-oncology platform. BITE molecules work without the need for T-cell recognition mechanisms, such as MHC1. The BITE platform can lead to off-the-shelf therapies that do not require ex vivo manipulation of a patient's cells. The BITE immuno-oncology platform directs patients' own T-cells to cancer cells by utilizing the variable binding domains of two monoclonal antibodies. One domain targets CD3 on the surface of T-cells, while the other domain can be designed to target a tumor-specific antigen. When BITE molecules connect a T-cell and a cancer cell in close proximity, an immune synapse forms. The T-cell becomes activated and releases perforin and granzymes. Perforin molecules oligomerize to form a pore, which acts as an entry point for granzymes, triggering apoptosis. Following induction of apoptosis, an activated T cell may recognize other cancer cells, potentially resulting in serial lysis. Furthermore, sustained activation of T cells may result in local proliferation and enhanced polyclonal expansion of memory T cells. The Byte Immuno-Oncology platform offers versatility to potentially engineer the tumor-binding arm to specifically recognize antigens characteristic of different cancers. Amgen is currently investigating Byte molecules across a wide range of solid and hematologic malignancies, as well as exploring variations that are eliminated from the body at different rates. Canonical Byte molecules are quickly removed from the body, primarily by the kidneys. The addition of a fragment crystallizable, or FC, domain results in a half-life extended bite molecule that may be administered less frequently. Amgen pioneered the first approved bite molecule and continues to pursue the promise of immuno-oncology with several bite molecules in clinical investigation across multiple solid and hematologic malignancies. The Bite Immuno-Oncology platform has the potential to transform care and make innovative T-cell treatment available to more patients.